So now that we've joined the box, um, I want to go ahead and make a, um, a floor, okay? Remember we made every, all the box at the bottom of the boxes to be four feet above the ground? So now I'm going to make a floor for this ground. Okay. So um, I'm going to make a new layer for this. I'm going to call it floor for now. I might delete it later, but just for now. Let's give it a, a dark color so we can, how about a, like a dark gray for now. Say OK. And let's make that layer current. So that floor is really going to be a box, but it's just going to be a very thin box in its height. Okay, so I'm going to make it into a solid, but it's going to be a thin height solid. So, um, so it's kind of going to be something like this, right? And then I'm going to move it into the floor. Um, and if you remember how we make boxes, we already know this is 24 by 24, right? So I can just do a quick box, say, at 24 comma 24 and then give it a height. Okay. But you know what, you can also, if you don't want to, you don't have to uh, do the 24 by 24 because you already have your edges. So let's see if I can do that. I'm just gonna click from here, corner to corner, and then scroll up to where the height is, and then I'm just gonna enter the height. I want the height to be nine inches. And there it is. Okay, so I didn't have to enter the numbers because I already have the perimeter that I wanted to fit in. I just went the opposite corners and I lifted up nine inches. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do is to move that floor from here to here because I'm going to have this surface, the one that's highlighted in yellow, to act as my top surface. So I'm going to move my gray box up to align with it. Move command, select the box, press enter. Where do you want to move it from? This corner. Where do you want it to land? This corner. Okay? Can you kind of tell now how we have a box with a floor? You can kind of begin to see that, right? Okay, I think that's good. Um, just going to stop this video here.